Global James Bond Day 2019 has come and gone. We got a new poster. We didn't get a new trailer. Let's talk about it. So real quick, you know, Global James Bond Day has come and gone. Uh, the the fanfare um, left a lot of people a little cold. Um, I personally had a great afternoon. Uh, David Zaritsky, if you saw the live stream, we were at uh, NPL for the launch of their new Bond-inspired product lines. Um, a lot of really interesting stuff, a lot of really cool stuff, a lot of stuff. There were two pieces that come to mind that were in On Her Majesty's Secret Service that were absolutely spectacular. Um, if uh, as, soon as, as soon as my uh, belly goes down and my wallet fills up, I uh, might have to uh, go back and pay them a visit. And we just had a great day. We had a great day. Again, Dave always puts together a really great afternoon for all us Bond, you know, geeks who who just go crazy over this sort of stuff. Um, we had a great afternoon. Uh, great crew. As I mentioned, David Zaritsky from the Bond Experience was there headlining the whole thing. Murray Gillespie, Jeff Weibo from James Bond Canada. Super cool to have them in town. Matt Spazer, he does the podcast from Taylor's with Love. Naturally, he's going to be there. Harris Thomas, Dressing Like Bond, another clothing aficionado you should check out. And John Broughton, Bespoke JB. Check him out on Instagram. Jay Sadowski, James Bond Classified, another good friend of mine. And Ray Crumphold, The Bond Armory. You want to know about the weaponry of James Bond, he's the guy to go to. So again, we had a great time at NPL. They could not have been nicer to us. It was a lot of champagne, a lot of discussion. Uh, we went to uh, Carlisle's, the Carlisle Hotel across the street. We had cocktails. And because my birthday is coming up in just two weeks, David Zaritsky kind of had like a mini roast, which uh, he put together a little poem. It was really funny. Uh, do I put in a clip? Do I not? Joe Darlington is turning 50. You know him as being James Bond. He could have actually replaced Craig, but who needs another Bond who's blonde? Now, Joe lives his life on a podcast with something to say. He's escaped many a tough topic. He's lived to die another day. The peril of Me Too and all this Naomi stuff only feeds his mantra that the word is not enough. His motto of live and let die means he can only live twice, and even if tomorrow never dies, he's still one of the three blind mice. <laughs> now, perhaps you have heard Joe accepted Bond 25 Fitness Challenge to get fit, but judging by his snacking habits, he really doesn't give a shit. <laughs> But don't worry, Joe. Have another slice of pie. Just tell your arteries that today is no time to die. <laughs> because today's a celebration and the sky may fall. When Joe parties all, we all have a thunderball. So please, with me all, raise your glass and a toast. And let's herald Joe, even though this was a bit of a roast. But no matter what we say, no matter what to what end, the ultimate thing Joe is... He's an incredible friend. Amen. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, cheers, cheers. So, yeah, I mean, it was just a lot of fun. And again, just it's it's always great to be with this group of guys. Um, whenever you're with the Bond community, it's just so much fun. Uh, we From there, we went to Tom Ford. We checked out the tuxedo, which shows up in the poster for No Time to Die that we just got. Uh, that was a lot of fun as well. Again, they took care of us with scotch or champagne, if you chose. Then we went to dinner, and Harris Thomas took care of that. We went to a very iconic Bond location. Uh, you might recognize the spot from Live and Let Die. And there was a restaurant just next door, so Harris organized that. And Jeff Weibo, by the way, not gonna not going to say, but Jeff was extremely, extremely kind and generous. Uh, so thank you, Jeff, from James Bond Canada. Smash that like button and check out uh, Jeff Weibo. So there you go. That was our day. That was our Bond, uh, global James Bond day. And again, it's it's more about just the people you're hanging around with. So we had a great time. The poster. Let's talk about it. So needless to say that there was a lot of conflicting opinions about this poster. Um, and, you know, again, I'm, I'm sort of torn as I'm talking about it. And I will kind of get into, you know, what I'm talking about a little bit more. Uh, did I love it? No. Um, in fact, if you want my honest opinion, well, here's the text that I, I sent back when I first saw it. 
Uh, yeah, needless to say, it's not what I expect from a James Bond poster. Uh, I mean, this is, I got, I have like a bigger version of this book someplace. Um, but you get the idea, you know, Bond posters over the years. Uh, incredibly iconic, and it's interesting when you go through a book like this, you, you watch how the posters have changed over time. Uh, you know, again, they have to sort of go, you know, they, they evolve like everything else with the times, just like the films do. Um, so, okay, with that in mind, how does this poster stack up? Uh, again, my initial reaction is not good. Um, it, it was kind of funny because I, I got a little flack for being a little overly diplomatic about the poster. David asked me during the live stream and I basically said, look, it's 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 not uh, what I'm looking for in a Bond poster, but I'll wait until the film comes out to see if it ties in together. And that is how I feel about that. That, I, I, that was me being very genuine. Uh, again, when you first saw the logo and you saw the old school typeface, a very retro typeface, uh, and then you see this poster, which again is is very strange. Uh, the bright color is kind of odd to me. That that bright blue, it's so, almost like that, uh, like a like a, the blue bag you get at Tiffany's, you know, that that shade of blue. And I think I I told somebody it was like a Martha Stewart blue. Um, it looks odd to me in a Bond poster, but again, not everything can be black, white, and gray with like a little hint of, of red or, or gold. Um, you know, th there's other things you can try. Um, so, and even Craig's, you know, the expression on Craig's face looks a little like, huh, what, what's going on over there? Uh, so again, I don't know what it is. I don't know why this poster looks like it is. I mean, some people have just sort of dismissed it and said, well, obviously they just rushed something out real fast. Well, yeah, but I've seen fan art that was done probably pretty quickly that looks interesting or more Bond-like than this does. So my point that I made stands. I, I don't know yet how this will fit into the bigger scheme of things when the film comes out. When the film comes out, I will look back and say, okay, did it, you know, now does it make sense? Did this give me an indication of what to expect from the film? That's what it's for. I mean, this is a teaser poster. I don't even, I don't even think this is the final product. I think when we go and we see the poster in the theater right next to the, you know, I don't think I, it's not this. So again, I think this is just supposed to be a little teaser. Um, again, if it depends how it plays out, uh, as it stands, would I hang this on my wall? No, it's not. It's not what I'm looking for. But again, like I said, I'll wait and see. We didn't get a trailer. We were hoping for a trailer. Uh, no one ever said we didn't get promised a trailer, but there was kind of rumors circulating that, and you know, just it's global James Bond day. So why not? It didn't happen again. Not sure why. So I can't comment a little disappointing, but then again, the self-serving part of me, I kind of rather sit down at my desk and do a, a reaction video, um, as opposed to being stuck in Manhattan someplace, you know, watching it with a, with a group and then having to do a reaction later. Um, so there's that. Again, I don't know why, don't know what the delay is. So the whole thing sort of put me in mind or maybe presented a bigger question. What do Bond fans do when they're presented with stuff that is a little disappointing? Uh, not what they had in mind. Uh, there's been sort of a little debate going on, maybe just sort of a, maybe it's in my own mind. Uh, but it's a discussion about do we be positive, try to stay positive when, again, things don't exactly go go the way we want? Uh, or should we just let loose and talk about how terrible everything is and this, this poster sucks and everything? Um, I talked to John Clark, Haphazard Stuff, and he's a, you know, pull no punches kind of guy. And if he doesn't like it, he'll say so. And I love that. I love it. Uh, and we kind of went on like the little, little tirade about the... Um, is are the Bond films becoming victims of the political correct culture that is permeating in the world? Um, I also spoke to uh, Mark O'Connell, uh, another great guy, and I love Mark and I love his opinions. And he's sort of on the other side of the the argument. Uh, you know that that this is all healthy and good, and, and it's and it's progress. We're moving into the to the to the to the, to the modern times um, with a little. Um, you know, it, we, the, that the Bond film should reflect the times we live in. And I think he made a perfect, perfectly good argument. Um, and I spoke to Tom Sears, James Bond Radio. I mean, that was a thrill for me just for being a fan of James Bond Radio. But also, again, because he also sort of had the opinion of, look, 
your experience, your life experience is the sum total of what you focus on and how you focus on. And so with that in mind, why be negative? And I totally agree with that. And people who know me in my real life, people who know me, you know, just day to day life, they know that I always focus on positive stuff. I surround myself with positive people. If you want to be negative all the time, I don't know what to tell you. It, it, it's just not how I'm going to live. So, and, and kind of from there, I think that's how I feel about it. I almost feel like, like, you know, I, my, my nature is to be diplomatic and I suppose I could be diplomatic to a fault and to the point where it's probably annoying. Um, but again, I feel that all of these people are correct. And so there's no reason to get overly negative, especially when, again, just talking about just this poster right now, there's no point in getting super negative about it when we don't know how it's going to play out. There's no point in it. Uh, I'll just say it's again, it's not something I'm going to hang on my wall, but I'm open to see how this plays out. And when the film comes out, if it's bad, we'll say so. If it's great, we'll also say so. Um, no point in going negative about it. So that's it. That's really all I got to say. And I feel like that's a lot of time I spent to make a very neutral point. Um, but again, I just feel like, you know, why sit around ripping everything? And if it sounds like I'm responding to, you know, some, some criticism, um, about being overly positive or not coming out and saying it was bad. Well, I did say, I did say, I don't, I, this is not for me. I don't, it doesn't seem like a bond poster to me. Uh, but again, it, it's a, it's all a matter of how this all plays out. If this gave me the, the, the correct feeling about how the movie is looking and, and what we can expect from it, if it wants me to feel challenged, then, then it, then, and if it does its job, then it works. So it's as simple as that. I don't have, I'm not going to just bash it for no reason. So that's it. That's my little mini poster reaction. And, and, and honestly, this is sort of a commentary that's kind of been long overdue, but there really hasn't been much going on. So there you go. Here's my little, my little spiel about the poster. And, uh, again, you know, not my favorite, certainly not my favorite, nothing I'm going to run out and purchase and hang up. Uh, but again, I'm, I'm anxious for April to come. We are all going to be sitting in the theater come April watching, uh, no time to die. And, and then we'll see what we get. And, and was all the hysteria leading up to it? Was it all warranted? Uh, if it is, I'll be the first one to eat my words and say, you know what? Maybe the naysayers were right, but for now, mm, I'm not buying it. Um, let's see how it plays out. This is your good buddy, Joe Darlington, head of section being James Bond. Sorry, this was a rambling video, but, um, you know, again, there was a lot to talk about and a lot on my mind that I just want to get out. Uh, and what are your thoughts? Please hit the like button. Please subscribe, all that good stuff. And again, if I'm wrong, throw it in the comment section and tell me what you thought of the poster. But for now, this is your good buddy. I will see you next time. It's your good buddy, head of section signing off.